third planet near to the sun, the densest planet in the solar system. A multitude of natural and artificial phenomena have shaped their planet into what it is today. Rampant industrialization and deforestation have caused disruptive changes in the atmosphere. Consequently, for weather forecasting purposes, the past is no longer a reliable predictor of the future. Prediction of weather is a very complex process. It is not possible to predict the weather just by measuring some parameters in one particular location. The radar can and will predict so many things which are of immediate, immediate use to the farming community and to the general public. After a series of meetings and presentations with Scientific Engineering and Research Board, Professor Mohan Kumar and his team were successful in bringing glory to the Cochin University of Science and Technology. In February 2011, administrative approval was granted by Department of Science and Technology to the University for setting up the world's first ST radar to be operated at 205 MHz. We developed the 200 megahertz, especially here we got 205 megahertz frequency radar that gives very high resolution wind data from 315 meter at the lower level to about 20 kilometer and above. The stratosphere troposphere radar installed at CUSAT is a wind profile radar using latest technology to study horizontal and vertical wind circulation pattern. The main system of the ST radar consists of 619 antennae arranged in a triangular grid. Each antenna is connected to an individual transmitter receiver module with a peak power of 500 watts. This module generates signals at a frequency of 205 megahertz which is transmitted through the antenna to the atmosphere. Pulsed signals are sent in the form of five main radiation beams with four of them arranged at a 15 to 30 degree angle around the central vertical beam. The frequency band used by this radar enables highly reliable wind measurement in the entire tropospheric heights as well as lower stratospheric levels. The pulsed signals transmitted in this frequency enables these beams to reach up to stratospheric levels. These beams collect wind data from various levels of the atmosphere and are then reflected back to the transmitter receiver modules at the radar station. The echoes received from these 619 antennae are consolidated in a single processing computer. The signal echoes received from different levels in the atmosphere are subjected to rigorous processing by which time domain data is converted to frequency domain. This frequency analysis helps to identify the Doppler frequency at different heights. This will give you a nearly 1 million fold of additional uh, gain in the total overall observations point of view. And because of the higher frequency, the size of the antenna becomes smaller. So this is a, actually located on top of a building, whereas that will require about 5 acres of land. The monsoon is start from the Kachin Kerala coast. So this is considered as the gateway of Indian summer monsoon. In cloud physics, in thunderstorm development, even civil aviation, communication, even it can be used for the defense applications. This is the only instrument which can measure the vertical component of the wind. Here is a radar which can provide some kind of applications in a industry, aviation, agriculture, through its products actually. This radar has been visualized, designed and developed indigenously under the Make in India initiative of the Government of India. As part of this project, the Advanced Center for Atmospheric Radar Research was established in the main campus of KISAT. The Radar Center, which was a long-cherished dream of the university, has become a reality. It has become a landmark in the history of the university. Now we are happy that in the 205 Mahagats radar, ST radar become a reality and it is commissioned in December 2016.